I'm just going to recap on what Jason was talking about, and as Nick explained, I'm, I'm one of the old daddies from the foundation. I've been there 14 years, and and um, for 10 of those years, we were working under a health promotion model, and I think a lot of people might be familiar with that. We concentrated on doing HIV one-on-one -on -one workshops. We concentrated on training trainers, and I mean, I was doing 20 to 30 workshops a week, um, and our as, as they said, our um, HIV rates just kept increasing. So one day we just stopped. We just stopped what we were doing and we just decided, look, we need to rethink because obviously what we're doing isn't working. And we sat down in the boardroom with lots of butcher paper and just um, made lists of things that we thought were working and things that we thought weren't. And, and that's how it started. Um, and it was a mind shift. We had to really think about, um, because we were coming from this traditional health promotion model, was social marketing actually the right way to go? Was it going to work? Um, community engagement is, is basically engaging the community and for anyone that works in that part of the um, work field, uh, for us, it, work hasn't changed, it's still the same. We still engage with the same people we used to. We still engage with them in the same places, but how we engage with them has changed. And um, my team like to, like to think of it like this, and I think it's quite clever. The social marketing team come up with all the pretty stuff, and it's up to my team to sell it to the community. So they consider themselves sales reps, our YC or Love Your Condom sales reps. And if you think of a Coca-Cola sales rep, you know, their job is to make sure they go into that shop and have Coca-Cola everywhere so that everyone recognises the brand. It's the same for my team. They make sure the brand is in every bar, um, service, health service or, or sex and sight venue, wherever gay men are hooking up or meeting or being is where we are at. And um, like you've seen the murals and some of the stuff that we've done, those ideas came from the partnerships that they had with the venue owners. So, you know, we work with the venues to find out what they need and then try and give it a twist so that we can make sure our branding's in there. For example, um, one of our bars, their pool table was looking a bit tatty, you know, it was, it was getting a bit old, it needed a new skin. And so my staff member went, hey, why don't we get a Love Your Condom um, skin on your pool table? And they went for it. You know, um, the murals, the murals that they have on their walls, they design them, you know. We don't, I mean, I wouldn't have chosen that picture myself, you know, I thought it looked a bit gay, but, um, <laughs> no offense, I like gays, I am gay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they, they decided what they wanted and we're the ones that make it happen. So, so that, that's how, how we work. Um, we work in, in lots of different communities, youth, um, highly sexualised men, but also ethnic groups as well, and, and um, I've got Tanu up here who, who works with the Pacific community. I also have a team that work with the Māori community, and taking something that's, that's quite out there, I mean, it's a condom, erect condom with wings, um, doesn't necessarily fly well, with um, indigenous cultures, and and so we weren't quite sure how that was going to work. I didn't want to mess with the brand, like I didn't want to give it a cultural flavour or, or cultural words because um, it would break the social marketing golden rule of of, of uh, messing with the brand. So we we took the brand to our communities, and funny enough, they loved it, and. Um, so much so that, that one of the events that we have with Māori communities is we, we bring them together um, what, you know, at, at, for a gathering, much like this, like a conference, but the difference is we sleep and eat together for four days. Um, and we have it on a marae, which is, which is a traditional place for Māori to meet. Um, and the front of the marae is very sacred. It's a very spiritual place for us. Our elders put the LYC flags up in that space, which showed their support for, for this cause. Um, and, and 
Tanui works with the Pacific community, which are even more.